Hey guys, and welcome back to another Classics with Caleb, where I read the first chapter of a classic children's novel in order to give you guys a glimpse of some of the popular children's novels from just a few years ago. And today we're going to be reading Esperanza Rising by Pam Munoz Ryan. And so this is with the special read aloud permissions from Scholastic and Scholastic Press. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Aguas Calientes, Mexico, 1924. Our land is alive, Esperanza, said Papa, taking her small hand as they walked through the gentle slopes of the vineyard. Leafy green vines draped the arbors and the grapes were ready to drop. Esperanza was six years old and loved to walk with her papa through the winding rows, gazing up at him and watching his eyes dance with love for the land. This whole valley breathes and lives, he said, sweeping his arm toward the distant mountains that guarded them. It gives us the grapes and then they welcome us. He gently touched a wild tendril that reached into the row as if it had been waiting to shake his hand. He picked up a handful of earth and studied it. Did you know that when you lie down on the land, you can feel it breathe? That you can feel its heart beating? Papi, I want to feel it, she said. Come. They walked to the end of the row, where the incline of the land formed a grassy swell. Papa lay down on his stomach and looked up at her, patting the ground next to him. Esperanza smoothed her dress and knelt down. Then, like a caterpillar, she slowly inched flat next to him, their faces looking at each other. The warm sun pressed on one of Esperanza's cheeks and the warm earth on the other. She giggled. Shh, he said. You can only feel the earth's heartbeat when you are still and quiet. She swallowed her laughter. And after a moment, she said, I can't hear it, Papi. Dito y la fruta cayera en tu mano, he said. Wait a little while, and the fruit will fall into your hand. You must be patient, Esperanza. She waited and lay still and silent, watching Papa's eyes. And then she felt it, softly at first. A gentle thumping, then stronger, a resounding thud, thud, thud against her body. She could hear it, too the beat rushing in her ears. Shoom, shoom, shoom. She stared at Papa, not wanting to say a word, not wanting to lose the sound, not wanting to forget the feel of the heart of the valley. She pressed closer to the ground until her body was breathing with the earth's and with Papa's, the three hearts beating together. She smiled at Papa, not needing to talk, her eyes saying everything and his smile answered hers, telling her that he knew she had felt it. And that is the end of chapter one of Esperanza Rising. To find out what happens next, come to the library and check this wonderful book out where we'll be able to give it to you. And I hope to see you then, but until the next time, we'll see ya, goodbye.